friends! I'm Chloe, and it's Halloween night. In today's video, we'll be coloring together, so grab your markers and join in as we explore a great story! It was Halloween in Willow Hollow, a small town famous for its spooky decorations and friendly trick-or-treaters. Two best friends, Jack and Leo, had been planning their Halloween night for weeks. This year, we're gonna have the best prank ever, Jack said with a mischievous grin. Yeah, but it has to be scary, Leo added, his eyes wide with excitement. The boys went up to Jack's attic and found an old mannequin. This is perfect, Jack said. They painted it white, drew black lines to make it look like bones, and added a plastic skull mask. Leo had an even better idea. Let's give it glowing red eyes! They used tiny flashlight bulbs and tucked them into the skull. The result was terrifying. The boys named it the scariest skeleton ever. But they weren't done yet. Jack and Leo had a plan to set up the skeleton in front of the spookiest house in town, Old Man Harry's house. Everyone said his house was haunted because it was old, dark, and covered in cobwebs. The boys thought it was the perfect spot for their prank. When Halloween night arrived, Jack and Leo sneaked to Old Man Harry's front yard. They tied the skeleton to a long string and hid behind a bush. Are you sure about this? Leo whispered, feeling a bit nervous. Relax, Jack replied. This is going to be awesome. As kids walked by, Jack and Leo pulled the string. The skeleton slowly moved toward the path, its glowing red eyes cutting through the darkness. Ah! A group of kids screamed as they dropped their candy bags and ran. Jack and Leo laughed so hard they could barely breathe. This is the best prank ever, Jack said. But their laughter stopped when they saw someone coming toward them. It wasn't a scared kid. It was old man Harry himself. Old man Harry didn't look angry. In fact, he was smiling. Well, well, what have we here? He asked in a deep but friendly voice. Jack and Leo froze. Uh, it's nothing, sir. Just, uh, Halloween fun. Jack stammered. Old man Harry chuckled. You boys sure have an imagination. But have you thought about how your prank might make others feel? Leo frowned. We were just trying to make it funny. We didn't mean to upset anyone. Harry nodded. Halloween is about fun and a little bit of spookiness, but it's also about bringing people together. Pranks can be funny, but they can also scare or hurt someone. Why don't we use that creativity of yours to make something fun instead of scary? Jack and Leo looked at each other. They hadn't thought about how their prank might affect others. With old man Harry's help, the boys turned the scary skeleton into a funny, friendly character. They painted it with bright colors, put a silly hat on its head, and tied a sign around its neck that said, Happy Halloween! Take a candy and smile! They placed the skeleton on old man Harry's porch, holding a big bowl of candy. When the kids returned, they were surprised to see the skeleton offering treats instead of scares. This is so cool! One little girl said, giggling as she took a candy. The kids laughed, took pictures, and even danced around the friendly skeleton. Jack and Leo realized they were having just as much fun, maybe even more, by making others happy instead of scared. That night, Jack and Leo learned an important lesson. Being creative is wonderful, but it's even better when you use your creativity to spread joy and kindness. Halloween is about fun, laughter, and a little bit of magic. So, the next time you plan something, think about how it will make others feel. After all, the best kind of trick is one that makes everyone smile. Moral, creativity and kindness go hand in hand. Making others happy is the best treat of all. 